Have you ever wanted something so badly but it seemed just out of reach? That was the predicament of our friend, a famished fox who happened upon a lush vineyard. The vineyard was a banquet of ripe, juicy grapes, hanging in clusters, swaying gently in the breeze. The sight was enough to make any mouth water and our fox was no exception. His eyes lit up with desire, his heart pounded with anticipation. Can you imagine the taste of those plump, juicy grapes just bursting with sweet nectar? Oh, how he yearned for a taste. With every leap towards the grapes his mouth watered, his stomach growled louder, his desire intensified. But alas, the grapes were suspended just beyond his reach. He leaped and he jumped, his paws stretched out in yearning. But no matter how hard he tried, no matter how high he jumped, those tantalizing grapes remained just out of his grasp. What do we often do when we can't get what we want? This is the question that brings us to the crux of our story. The fox, with his stomach grumbling and eyes fixated on the tantalizing grapes, was in a predicament. The sweet, juicy grapes were just out of his reach. As the fox continued to leap, his frustration began to mount. Each jump was filled with a growing desperation, a need not only for the grapes but for the satisfaction of achieving his goal. But the grapes remained just beyond his grasp, an elusive prize that seemed to mock his efforts. And then, a change. The fox stopped, his panting breaths filling the quiet vineyard. A decision had been made. He looked at the grapes, not with longing, but with a new resolve. As he turned away he began to rationalize his decision. He told himself, those grapes, they're probably sour anyway. Isn't it fascinating how quickly desire can turn into disdain when we can't attain what we want? The fox, once so eager for the grapes, was now dismissing them as unworthy. He convinced himself that he didn't need them, that he didn't even want them. And so, the fox turned away, convincing himself that he didn't really want those grapes. But we know better, don't we? It's a tale as old as time, a lesson in not just desire, but in perseverance and the excuses we make when things get tough. How does it feel to go to bed hungry, especially when food was within sight? The fox found himself having to answer this question as he curled up on the cold, hard ground. He was alone, his stomach growling a sad, hollow tune that echoed through the silent night. The memory of the plump, juicy grapes hanging tantalizingly from the vineyard played on his mind, their image as vivid as if they were right before his eyes. He could almost taste their sweetness, feel their juicy flesh exploding in his mouth. But they were not there. They were out of reach and he had let them be. Regret washed over him like a wave, its sting sharper than the pangs of hunger gnawing at his belly. He had been so close, so very close to satisfying his hunger. Yet, he had let it slip away, choosing to make excuses rather than to strive harder. That night, the fox had to face the consequences of his decision, an empty stomach. What can we learn from this fox's experience? Just like the fox, we all have desires and goals that we want to reach. Sometimes, those goals can seem as far away as the juicy grapes seem to the fox, just out of our grasp. And when this happens, it's easy to feel disheartened and make excuses just like the fox did. We convince ourselves that maybe it wasn't that great after all, that maybe we're better off without it. But let's take a moment and reflect on the fox's story. The fox didn't even try to find a way to reach the grapes. Maybe he could have used a stick or climbed a tree nearby. Maybe he could have asked for help. There were countless possibilities, but the fox was so quick to make an excuse that he didn't even consider them. That's a lesson we should all take to heart. When something seems hard to attain, it's easy to make excuses. But what if instead, we looked for ways to reach our goal? What if, instead of making excuses, we made plans? After all, it's through trying and failing that we learn and grow. So the next time you find yourself in a situation like the fox, remember this lesson. Don't let a challenge discourage you. Instead, let it fuel your determination. Like the fox, we often make excuses when things are tough. But remember, it's better to try hard and fail than to never try at all.